Mine Buntag, good morning everyone. We've had a bit of a laptop disaster last night and I've no longer got one. So today, first thing this morning, we're just waiting for the bus now and we're going to head off to the sitter and hopefully try and find a new one. Now we've arrived at the mall, so we're going to see if there's anything half decent now worth buying. Now I'm a bit nervous to be honest about going in because this isn't my first visit here to this shop. We was here probably about three months ago when I was having trouble, should we say, with a laptop again. Um, I'll tell you more about it when we get to somewhere a bit quieter. It's a bit noisy out here. Now we're inside the mall. We're at the shop now. You can see that's behind me, the laptop shop there. And it's really funny because not even 24 hours ago I was standing in this very spot department store behind me here we was in this yesterday and I wish my laptop had gone wrong before then because you know it could have killed two birds with one stone because I noticed the other day I was sorting through my stuff and my suitcase and took an absolute battering from the last flight I'd had here so I really needed to replace my suitcase I don't think it'd last another trip anywhere so I had the expense yesterday of buying one of the plastic boxes on wheels so hopefully it should last now Right now, back to the story about what I wanted to tell you earlier about my visit to that shop. And as I said before, it wasn't the first visit. We've been staying, staying in the hotel in Masbati here in the city, because I don't know if we're travelling or something like that. So anyway, I'd uploaded a video onto YouTube from the hotel, and then the laptop decided to have a bit of a dicky fit and switch itself off. So I tried to switch it back on, 10 seconds later, it switched itself back off. I'm having real problems. And it wasn't the first time it had happened, so I thought enough's enough now, time, you know, just get a new laptop. You know, forget the expense, just get a new laptop and be done with it, not have to worry anymore. So I went to the little shopping mall where you've seen a minute ago. I went in the shop, found a nice little cheap laptop that I thought that'll do for the price, just for now, just to keep me going. So I said to the woman, yeah, you know, to buy it. So she said then, I'm sorry, but everything will need installing on it. And I said, oh, you know, how long is that going to take? He said, a good couple of hours, two, maybe three hours to install everything on it. I said, so, you know, if you've got things to do, can you come back later on? At the end, when the shop closes at 5.30, and it'll be ready to be picked up. So I said, yeah, that's fine, no problems. So I said, do you want a deposit or anything? He said, no, that's fine, sir, so, you know, just come back 5.30, it'll all be ready for you. So that was it, fair enough, we left the shop. Went here, jolly bit again, just for something to eat. Went back to the hotel. I thought I'd just try the laptop once more. Switched the back book on, ding, straight away it worked perfect. Not a thing wrong with it. I thought, oh no, what do you do now? Do you go back, you know, and buy another laptop, even though the one that was broken before is working again? And I thought, no, I can't, I can't do that. I've got to save some money. So we never ended up going back to the shop and felt so guilty about it afterwards. So we didn't know if they'd stay open a few minutes later waiting for us to come and pick it up, you know, because she'd have to install all the things on or not. But we didn't know, just didn't bother going back to the shop, so I thought I won't have to go back ever again. So it doesn't matter, they'll sell it to another customer, you know, and it doesn't matter after that. So yeah, I never thought I'd be going back again, but um, yeah, it must be calmer, I think. I'm not sure, but it might be calmer. Look, we went in the shop before, as you've seen. And I, the two assistants in there, I said to them, do you know who I am? Do you remember me? And they both said, no, sir. I said, are you sure? I was here a few months ago. You don't recognise me. And they both said, no, sir. So, you know, they said, why? I didn't tell them why. I didn't tell them the reason. I couldn't remember if it was the same two sales girls that were there when we were in there before or not. But I thought there's no point saying anything if they don't remember me. So it's been good at least so because they use an external hard drive all the while. So anything that gets used on the laptop, on the MacBook, automatically gets put on there as well, you know, just to make sure everything's backed up and safe. So it looks like the next couple of days they'll be transferring everything back from the hard drive onto the laptop. So at least I've not lost a single file, everything, videos, photos, everything's on there still. I've not lost a single thing. So it's all worked out good in the end, even though it's cost me a lot of money. But Saying that, it was half the price of what the MacBook cost me, so, you know, everyone's a winner. Anyway, we're going now, now filled with fat belly. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.